Well, guys, I think we're at episode three now, so we know that we can get that starter motor turned over, but the button isn't starting it. We know the battery is pretty useless, and I'm going to replace that today. But that little solenoid there here, I believe, is going to be the culprit because when I bypass that, I can get that starter motor turning over. But when I rely on that starting off the button, it's not. So I'm gonna test the continuity to the button. I'll test that and we'll see where we go. But first job is I'm gonna get this battery out and get a new one. Replacement one of them, and we'll have a look at that little uh, starter switch solenoid as well. All right, bought a new battery, it's the correct one. 1098s. Get that out and pop it in, and pretty sure this isn't going to work, but it will at least put the new battery in. So I've got the new battery in. I don't think this is going to do anything, but we'll just do the full test. So just hit the starter. No. And I can't hear that solenoid clicking in. So let me just do this with, let me just bridge this starter solenoid. I always love the sparks like that. So that's turning over. So it's definitely this solenoid, isn't it? Right. I'm going to get that thing out and work out because at the moment, these two wires I thought would be nice and easy to unplug, but they go miles back up into the, behind the battery. Right. Our current plan is to pull the battery box out. I'm not sure how we do this. We're pulling those three Alan screws out, there's one up behind this radiator. Those as well. Just so we can get to the back of this solenoid and unplug it. Because the wiring goes way in behind there. I'll hold it. No. Oh, yeah. Go, keep going. Okay, that'll pull out now. I've just, it's just got a little nut on the, the end. Just have a look on the other side. Is there another one holding this whole contraption? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Even if we don't pull the whole thing out, just see if I can get to the back of where. Disappears. Well, the thing's still here. Yeah, no, just pull. So. Alright, I'm going to take these two Allen keys out, Allen bolts out now. Even if you just loosen them, they may not have to come all the way out just so we can get to that connector. Could be hard, who knows? Just watch any little washers. There's a washer. Oh, it's connected. Oh, it's a connector, one. is it? Yeah. Okay, well now remember that connector's there. Alright, well that 
that slide out. Yeah, yeah, look at that. All right. Can we get to that little connector lead? So that, just for those playing at home, that little red tab sits in the back there and it's in this orientation and when you get it out these two disconnect So Henry's just taken the old one off and popped that new one on and um, we'll tighten that up. So we've got the battery and the starter just wired up. Uh, I haven't threaded all the cables in, we just want to make sure this works. So turn the ignition on, Henry. That doesn't sound right. Just turned off. That um, fault light's coming off as well. Yeah, well, there's something not right there. Is it? Well, is this going off or? Right, turned on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, just give it one little short blast when you do it. I don't want to keep turning it over and over, okay? Apparently. Okay. I read that on these, you just press it anyway and it does the whole thing. Okay, well, you might have to get ready to flick it off. Okay, try it. Nothing. Ah, oh, man. So it could be the switch. So there's no errors that time? Again, nothing coming up on that screen. Hmm. Okay, so it may not have been the solenoid. Unless it's the kickstand. Well. You can try it. It could be a switch, faulty switch in the kickstand. No. Right. Okay. Well, guys, we've only waited two weeks for that solenoid to arrive just to tell us that we don't know what's going on still. So, must be the switch, which I sort of thought when I did that, couldn't, when I couldn't get any power at the um, switch. Remember, I tried to get continuity, couldn't get it, and then I second guessed myself and said, Oh, don't worry about that, it must be the solenoid. Now I'm thinking it is the switch. Right, I will try that again, we'll see what happens with that.
Righto, you would have seen some video. Henry's pulled this ignition connector out and he's done a fair bit of work on the kill switch and the button. So it's just all just loose at the moment. Also, while we're playing around down here, you'll see that wire. That somebody had spliced into that connector what we think is the alarm, because when you trace that through, you come to this little duvet like you hear, which I think is an alarm. And it's also wired into the blinker loom. So my assumption is that was a bit of a alarm horn or siren of some sort, and it flashed the blinkers. We've disconnected that. We don't know if that's having any impact anyway, but we've disconnected that, and you can see I've just spliced that together. Now, when we do a, I'm going to put that on start. Now, this won't start up, but we'll just see if this start up. We've put a new solenoid in. We'll just see if I hit the starter button down here. Are your clutch handle in or not? I don't know if it's got to be in or not. That's turning over. That is turning over, Henry. Give me a smile. Hey, this is, this is the most action or most improvement that we've made. I reckon we put a bit of fuel in. I wish Mark could stop mowing. Um, we'll put a bit of fuel in and we might get this thing running today. Obviously want to fix that, those wires and that starter and get that all tidied up. But we can probably, this old alarm connector, we can probably cut that somewhere, Henry. You don't think we're going to want this alarm, are we? Yeah. Right. Oh man, I am so, this is, this is good news guys. We've got this running. Well, not running, we've got it turning over. Um, now there was a bit of a concern uh, about whether or not this would be a problem turning it over because of the belts, but we think, I think the belts are, they're fine. Well, everything was turning. There was no clunking noises. No, we would have heard valves and things crashing if there was so good news i'm just going to put a few liters in make sure this isn't leaking out the bottom just check there henry that it's not coming out of any of those fuel lines obviously i don't want to do this in the garage i want to do it out here in the driveway i'll just get a, a rag and wipe the top of that You'd notice that Henry also got during the week a new fuel filler cap. We just just turned the ignition on. All right, fuel lights off, so we've got some fuel in there. Let's just turn this over on the starter and see. Right, uh, so we've got fuel in it. It's looking a little bit shabby because we've got different things disconnected and everything, but we've got all the major things hooked up, ready to go. Uh, well, obviously the starter button's not hooked up properly, but we've got that wired up enough to get going. So hit the starter and see what happens. Now, Henry, if it, if it doesn't start after a good few seconds cranking, we might just turn it off because I just really don't know what damage that's going to do. And if it does start, I think we'll just let it run for a few seconds before turning off because I am still a bit nervous about timing belts. Um, 
but we've we've turned it over a few times now on the starter so let's go you can't get the smile off my face i reckon henry's pretty happy too um we didn't even know if this was going to start and we have got this thing running um now i just do want it i do want to do a few little checks because i do not want to run this thing if it hasn't been run for a long time and i have no idea if we should have been doing any other pre-start up checks but um i'm pretty happy what do you reckon henry yeah um we might just do a few checks. We might do another start up before we finish this episode, but this is going to be very close to, uh, what is this, episode three. And then um, I think if this does work, we'll probably come back and we'll put all the fairings on. Henry's actually bought a new fairing bolt kit. It's got gold nuts and bolts to match this. Um, it appears that the wheels very much like um, the 1098 R's. Is that right? Yeah. So the 1098 R had gold wheels. So um, we'll, we might just do a little bit of tinkering. We'll come back when we, episode four, we'll put on the, um, the fairing and tidy that up. We probably, while we've got the fairing off, do a oil change. So that might be episode four too. But we might just start this up once more for this episode. And then um, we'll see you in the next one. guys the bike's moving that's the first time it's driven under its own power since we've had it Henry's up at the top of the driveway we'll get him when he comes back right well that'll probably wind us up for episode three now guys we're gonna obviously do an oil change and put some fairings on this and there's lots of wiring that needs tidying up but i think that'll do us thanks for watching